Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Palast here. Got another great math book. It's called Measuring Penny, and it's about a pug. So it's from Lorraine Leedy. So Measuring Penny by Lorraine Leedy. My name is Lisa, and my teacher says our next big homework project is to measure something. Mr. Jason says we can measure anything, like a sofa, a television set, or a doll. Measuring homework, due next Tuesday. Number one, choose something to measure. Number two, measure it in as many ways as you can. Height, width, length, weight, volume, temperature, time. Number three, record your results. Number four, include at least one comparison. It is taller than or heavier than, etc. Remember, a measurement always has two parts. Number one, a number. Number two, a unit. I am six feet tall. Which units can you use? Here are some examples. Standard units. Inches, feet, yards, centimeters, meters, teaspoons, cups, gallons, pounds, minutes, etc. Non-standard units, paper clips, bricks, frogs, marbles, pencils, toes, etc. That's silly. Use your imagination. How tall? How heavy? How small? Measuring helps us to understand the world. When, when I got home today, my dog Penny jumped all over me as usual. Wow, I could measure Penny for my homework. She is a Boston Terrier and is bigger than a pug and smaller than a Cocker Spaniel. She's about the size of the Shetland Sheepdog. Penny, please stop drooling. There's a Shetland Sheepdog. There's Penny. There's a pug and there's a Cocker Spaniel. But you guys know that I have a pug named Kenny. And I love him. Look at all the dogs out here today. Hey, get down. Ah, those pups. I can't believe how many dogs live around here. Fine. I'll measure some of you too. We're supposed to use a standard unit. So let me use inches to see how long your noses are. Stop licking my face. Four inches. Standard Shetland Sheepdog. One inch. Penny. Half inch. Pug. Lisa. Penny's measurement. The nose length is one inch. Unit inch. Tail length one dog biscuit. Unit dog biscuit. I'll measure your tails with a non-standard unit. Dog biscuits. Will you please hold still? Penny has the shortest tail. One dog biscuit. Fox Terrier. Four dog biscuits. The mixed breed. Six dog biscuits. And the Greyhound. Ten dog biscuits. That's a long tail. I'll measure your ears with another stand, non-standard unit. Cotton swabs. Don't wiggle so much. Half a swab for a pug. One swab for Penny. Three swabs for a basset hound. Penny's ears, the length is one swab. The unit is cotton swab. Let's see how wide your paw prints are. I'll turn over my ruler and measure with another standard unit centimeters. Five centimeters for the mixed breed. Two and a half centimeters for the dash hound. Three centimeters for Penny, four centimeters for Cocker Spaniel. Penny's paw print with three centimeters, unit centimeters. I want to see how tall you all are. Everybody sit. So the Greyhound is 36 inches, which is three feet. The Cocker Spaniel is 24 inches, which is two feet. The Dash Hound is 12 inches, which is one foot. The mixed breed is 48 inches, four feet. Penny's height is 18 inches, the unit is inch. 12 inches equals one foot. Penny is one and a half feet tall. Three feet is one yard. Penny is half a yard tall. 18 inches for Penny. Let's see how high you can jump. Penny can jump up to my waist. I could use myself to measure with over my head, shoulder high, fox terrier, waist high, knee high, basset hound, 
Greyhound, Chest High, Shetland Sheepdog, Pug, Dosh Hound. Penny's jump was as high as my waist. Unit B. There is no skill here in the park, so I can't weigh anything. Wait, I could use a seesaw to see how heavy Penny is compared with the other dogs. The seesaw is down on Penny's end, so she is heavier than the pug. Huh. Weight comparison. Penny is heavier than a pug, lighter than the Cocker Spaniel, same as a Shetland Sheepdog. Now Penny's end is up because she is lighter than the Cocker Spaniel. The seesaw is balanced, so she weighs about the same as a Shetland Sheepdog. You look thirsty, Penny. We better go home and get you a drink. See you later, everybody. Let's stop in the bathroom so I can weigh you. Get on the scale. You're exactly 16 pounds. Now let's go to the kitchen for your drink. Penny's weight, 16 pounds, unit pound. Mr. Jason says volume is the amount of space something fills, like water in a cup. So what volume of water do you want? A cup, a pint, a quart, or a gallon? Maybe a teaspoon, maybe a tablespoon, or a teaspoon. Hmm. You drank a cup of water already today, and I'll give you another cup now. I suppose you're hungry, too. Now? You can't have the whole bag of dog food. I'll give you half a cup. Drinking water per day, one to three cups. Food per day, one cup dry, half cup canned, unit cup. Sometimes dad and I make homemade dog biscuits. We measure the ingredients so they taste good, at least to you know who. I'm going to follow Penny around all day Saturday and measure how much time I spend taking care of her. Ooh, that's a big schedule. Penny's time schedule. 6 a.m. wake up. 6 to 7, patrol house. 7 o'clock, bark to wake up everybody. 7.05, take quick walk. 7.10, eat breakfast. 7.20, beg for scraps. 8 o'clock, howl when mom goes out. 8.10, take a nap. 8.45, nibble dog biscuits. Noon, eat lunch. 12.15, take nap. 1 o'clock, gnaw bone. One fifteen. investigate weird noise in basement. <laughs> 2 o'clock, snooze for a while. 2.30, bark, run in circles. 2.35, go for a long walk. 3.45, carry a newspaper in. 4 o'clock, watch cartoons. Taking care of Penny. How much time does it take? Every day, feeding her is 10 minutes. Brushing her is 15 seconds. She has short hair. Walking her is 5 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon, 10 minutes at night. Um, playing with her is half hour to an hour. Weekly, give her a bath, 15 minutes to an hour. Clipping her toenails, five minutes. Units, hours, minutes, and seconds. Story's great. I'll measure how quickly Penny can run to different places. She can get from her bed to the kitchen in six seconds. Here's Penny's breakfast dash. To your bed to the kitchen, six seconds. Fast up. Penny's times. Her bed to her dish, six seconds. Across the backyard, four seconds. Around the block, five minutes. To the park, seven minutes. To my bus stop, 15 seconds. Units, minutes, and seconds. Temperature is important to Penny. She doesn't like things that are too hot or too cold. Penny likes to go on longer walks when the weather is nice. Walking times. Hmm. So 60 degrees, she likes to walk longer. Okay, and then when it's too cold at zero, not so often. When it's too hot at 100, not so often. All right, in fact, you can tell, in fact, you can almost tell the temperature outside just by looking at her. Penny's thermometer, 80 degrees, tongue out, 60 degrees, hop in, 40 degrees, 20 degrees. Unit degrees Fahrenheit. The last thing I'm going to measure Penny with is money. Mom looked through her checkbook to help me figure this out. We decided Penny is kind of expensive. Cost having Penny to buy the puppy, $275. Food for one year, $400. Vet, $120. Toys, collar, etc., $75. Value of having Penny, a burglar alarm, $1,000. An exercise machine, $500. As entertainment, 
Twenty dollars a day for love, a million dollars. I agree. I love pups more than anything, especially my pup. I'm sure Miss Jason, Mister Jason, will give me a good grade on this measuring project. Penny, maybe we should try change your name to Million. Awesome. All right, boys and girls. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. See you soon.